Week number nine finds a full slate of games for District 8 teams with three district contests. Dennis Weaver here from Friday Night Thunder for the District 8 preview. Columbia is the only District 8 team in non-district action tonight as they travel to neighboring Spring Hill. Covering the Lions for WKRM is Mike Epley. Coming off two tough losses, the Columbia Lions would try to regain their composure and go out of district in eight AAA to play the Raiders of Spring Hill. This game is deemed the Duck River Shootout. Throw the records out, this game is pride. But pride for Columbia needs to be parlayed with the victory to keep the Lions' playoff dreams alive. Pre-game 645, game time 7, 1340, WKRM, ColumbiaLionsFootball.com. I'm Mike Epley, voice of the Lions. Shelbyville visits Coffee County in the battle of the first and last place teams. Covering the Eagles for WLIJ Jacks Radio is Rusty Reed. Well, the Shelbyville Central High School Golden Eagles win a barn burner this past Friday night as they go to overtime against Columbia but still pull out the one-point win on Columbia's failed two-point conversion. Michael Eddings with over 350 yards rushing in the game. Tonight, they look to continue that winning way as they take on the Red Raiders of Coffee County. Shelbyville, the only team in the district with an undefeated record district play-wise. Red Raiders improving each and every week. Shelbyville has to maintain focus to hopefully keep that undefeated season going in district play. It all gets underway tonight, 7 o'clock in Manchester. Shelbyville and Coffee County. For the District 8 AAA Preview, I'm Rusty Reed. This is Jack's Radio. Covering the Red Raiders is Lucky Knot of Manchester's Thunder Radio. This week, the Coffee County Red Raiders will be hosting the Shelbyville Golden Eagles. The Golden Eagles come off a win in overtime over Columbia last week. The Eagles offense has been on a roll, led by Mason Cunningham at quarterback and Michael Eddings at running back. Coffee County comes into the ball game suffering a loss against Lincoln County and will try to pull off the upset against the Golden Eagles, led by freshman quarterback Alante Taylor's over 1,000 yards rushing this season. Raiders suffered a couple of injuries last week. We'll see if those players can be on the field. For the District 8 AAA preview on Friday Night Thunder, I'm Lucky Dot for WMSR Radio. Tullahoma visits Fayetteville in the battle of possible playoff implications. Covering the Wildcats, Scott Chastine of the Ticket Radio. With the dreams of a District A AAA championship turned into a nightmare last week at Lawrence County, the Tullahoma Wildcats now turn their goal to something they can control, securing a wild card invitation to the postseason. The Lincoln County Falcons picked up their third win of a disappointing year last week and would love nothing better than to celebrate senior night by spoiling the playoff dreams of the Cats. Although it's officially Meadows Thompson Stadium, for visitors it will always be the pit. For Sports Radio The Ticket, I'm Scott Shastine. And covering the Lincoln County Falcons is Donnie Honey of PMH Sports. The Lincoln County Falcons are coming back to the pit Friday night as they will host the Tullahoma Wildcats in a final regular season and district game for the Falcons this year. Both teams come into the contest in a must-win situation if they are to have any chance whatsoever for postseason play. Tullahoma comes into the game with a 2-2 two and two district record while the Falcons are 2-3. and three. The Falcons will have to try to contain the speed advantage that the Wildcats have over them to have any shout for victory. Game time is 7 p.m. at Mattis Thompson Stadium. For PMHSports.com, this is Donnie Honey reporting. And finally, Franklin County heads west on Highway 64 to take on Lawrence County. Covering the Rebs is Al Clark of WCDT. A battered and bruised bunch of rebels will travel to Lawrence County for the night's District 8 AAA contest against the Wildcats. Rebels have two district games remaining and must get healthy to have a chance in District 8 AAA. We expect some of the players injured, like Jai Kinslow, to return, but not sure about several others. The Wildcats are on a roll. They're holding on to second place in District 8 AAA and will want to continue that tonight against the Rebels. You'll hear all the action here on your sports leader in Franklin County. I'm Al Clark for the District 8 Preview. And covering the Wildcats, here's Cody Rose of WDXE in Lawrenceburg. The streaking Lawrence County Wildcats will welcome the Franklin County Rebels into Hendricks Stag Stadium tonight for senior night. Lawrence County currently riding a six-game winning streak while the Rebels are struggling at two and four over their last six ball games. However, Franklin County does own Lawrence County over the last five years as the Rebels are currently on a five-game winning streak in the series. Expect a battle of wing T offenses. Kickoff tonight at 7 o'clock. Pre-game show at 5.30 on the all-new mix, 98.3 DXC. Reporting, it's the voice of the Wildcats, Cody Rose for WDXC Sports. That does it for the District 8 Roundup for week number nine. I'm Dennis Weaver from Friday Night Thunder.